Oh my god, it could shatter right into his eye. And <laughs> right now, salt water, salt is hazardous. There's current flowing because I can see bubbles. Come on. Very scientific. Come on. You can do it. I think I need more salt. Probably not. But I don't think you need more salt. <laughs> I need more salt in solution is what I need. So what is it? Oh, my battery, or my magnet moved. Here's your bus. So what I'm trying to show you, which worked great before you guys came in, oh, no. is um, that this wire will orbit the magnet in the center. But right now he doesn't want to do it. All he's doing is bubbling, mm. which is really hard for you to see because of all the light. Ooh. Am I blocking the light? Nope, I gotta go this way to block the light. <laughs> <laughs> you still can't really see it. You should probably put, it, it. put like a, your hat be behind it or something. Like the we need contrast. I should definitely do something. This is a bust. Why is this so bright? Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, we can see the blue blaze. All right. Well, we can't see anything now. You can't see anything like, now? Like, the pink one was good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you had, like, one light on that was good. Yeah, I think so. Oh, this was working so good at lunch. It's supposed to go around and around. Oh, I'll wow. do that. And around and <laughs> Did around. you just short them? I just did short them, yeah. Did it spark? Uh, yeah. Can you spark them? Oh. I was Mr. Uh, but it didn't do it. Oh, this is sadness. This is... Supposed to be the Faraday motor. I wanted you to see it. Oh, I wonder if my whole really? lecture is going to be like this. There he's going. Oh, he started to. Come on, buddy. Shorter. Maybe that'll help. You just need to be free. Free. Oh, it's starting to come back. Oh. Uh, There's great sadness. Great sadness. Why don't we try a again? We'll try it again later. But here's what he noticed. He could turn electricity into motion. And that was a big thing. So obviously I can't turn electricity into motion, but he can. So I'll try to get this going later. We'll give him a break right now so I don't oxidize he all of a little anxiety. copper in there. Stage fright. All right, yeah, it's stage fright. I should have just left it set up from this lunch, but it was starting to get kind of gross. Okay, so this is his first big discovery, that the magnetic field, which they already knew existed around a current-carrying wire, interacted with other magnetic fields, but in a circle. And you could get, you could harvest motion out of this. All right, so let's go to the next slide. Next major thing was oh, the reverse. he could turn motion into electricity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was busy doing <laughs> chemistry <laughs> things and stuff too. Right? I know, I just I just noticed funny on the figure. So he had a copper disc and he spun it between the poles of a strong magnet. Now they didn't have neobidium magnets back then. Neobidium. Neobidinium, those rare earth magnets that we have today, all they had was iron. And he found that if he runs electricity in a coil wrapped around iron, he can make the iron a really good magnet. We call it an electromagnet. An electromagnet. So he used electricity to make a magnet. To make a magnet. And then you use motion to turn the magnetism back into electricity. Which was created by electricity. So wait, we're going In this case, it was. He's taking a screenshot. So if I hook this magnet up, oh, I hope this doesn't blow up, catch fire. I know Lauren wants it to. Lauren wants it to catch fire, I know. Yeah. So here's my pocket knife. Lauren's a David or something. All right. Mr. Grasp, I'm going to screen <laughs> I'm going to turn this thing into a really weak, 
see magnet. Maybe my battery isn't happy anymore. Why don't you just use a power supply? If you buy it, you get it. Well, I want it to be more like Faraday because they had a big one of these in their basement. That didn't work. Maybe we need a bigger one for our basement. Hopefully, one of these experiments will actually work. Oh, I'll come back to the electromagnet. Anyway, turning motion into electricity. So I have here some copper. That's like a hot glue gun. And <clears throat> some magnets inside. And I can move the copper. Okay. And I claim. Here, I gotta put it in front of the camera. Where's my camera? Oh, this is tedious. I need someone to direct. I hope my GoPro is still recording. It's blinking. All right. So I'm gonna hook this up to a light bulb. Doop -a doop. Doop -a doop. Big Mr. Battery, you are a disappointment to me. Faraday Motor, you too <laughs> are a disappointment. Maybe later you'll come to your senses. Maybe if you were nicer, they would be like. Like you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Turn motion into electricity. Oh All right. Okay. And yes, you can do the circle of life. What? 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 That was a little. I can turn electricity or magnetism into electricity using motion. And oh, you can use that. Here, hold it. <laughs> oh, because it's just a motor, but you just crank it. All right, so hold out good and high. You can't see it on the camera, so you're going to have to come up here and demonstrate in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Rise. Hold that for the people at home to see, but don't block the uh, GoPro behind you. It's so hard, I know. Oh my god, it's spinning. <laughs> I can spin the other way. What? Wait, how does it know which way to spin it? Oh, are these secret fields? Oh, that's a great question. Spin both ways at once. <laughs> Here, you turn yours. Yeah, what happens if you spin them both at the same time? So. Good. You can't see it on Stop. It looks like a Reverse. Thank you. All right, so this is his next yeah. big invention. Now, I wasn't able to make this efficiently, but he showed that it could be done. And other people, about another decade or two decades later, started to make these very large, very efficient, powered by a water mill. So you could use gravitational forces to turn the wheel. And they made all kinds of electricity out of the deal. So is it a generator? It is a generator. He invented the generator. OK? So very he's had a very successful career. Yes, he was a clever guy. Remember, this is a guy without a college degree, just self-educated. Are you promoting this in a non-college degree? I am trying to convince people that college doesn't make you smart. His next big thing, same year. Same year. Oh, now he's doing like oh, he's induction. Really about these. All right. Oh, and then he's like, induction means to induce. <coughs> to induce. Thank you. It's very similar to what I've been doing with those motors, except these motors, he would have loved to have those. Just absolutely adored to have those. His wasn't that efficient. But what he had was coils of wire. That was easy. So this is a picture of a coil. One end of the coil on one end, on the other end with probably fabric for insulation. 
and he's got a bar magnet shoved through the center. Okay, so we're going to imitate that. Uh, Mr. Bass. Yeah. So if you hook those things up to both sides of your tongue and then started spinning it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> would you like to blow up? <laughs> you might feel something, yes. <laughs> All right, so. What's happening? I have a solenoid. Okay. Good old fashioned solenoid. And. This you haven't seen because we've gone all digital these days. This is called an ammeter. Not an amp meter, it's just an ammeter, but it measures amps. Why is it called an amp? Why not an amp meter? Because it's an ammeter. There's a few horse. Why is it called deuce? Why not deuce? What? Why not deuce? Same problem. Those are right. It's just the way it's pronounced. Okay. Just a preference. Just <laughs> you just insulted your like horse. I didn't insult yeah. your horse. Yeah, you, you I just questioned why you thought that name was funny. Well, it was it's just, just a naming choice. Like, it's just like the amp. It's a silly name for the ammeter. Yeah. Not the horse. I think the horse is no, the horse. No, we'll just the science, Mr. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, I have a coil. Subscribe. It's hooked directly to the meter. Mm -hmm. If the coil generates a current, Meter should move. Mm. All right, let's get out my salty magnet. Wait, so, <laughs> why didn't you just use Wait, it for I would. <laughs> This is the only good strong magnet I have, although it wasn't apparently strong enough. 